Hey everybody, the Rieswirl here, and welcome to Immortal Unchained. Okay, right, before I do anything, I just want to make sure I've got everything set up. I think I do. Aim assist, no, lock on to it. A lock on on aim. Uh, yeah, that's actually a really good thing to have. Does mean I can't really get manual headshots, but it also means I don't miss as much. Either way, new game. Uh, are you sure I want to start a new game? Uh, yeah. Tried recording this literally 12 hours ago, actually, but it didn't end too great because uh, people were drunk and uh, obnoxious and loud. It, it just it just wasn't a fun time for me. <laughs> I must have just started to get annoyed at them. But in on the on the plus side, it does mean that I played this a bit more and I'm kind of a bit more familiar with the game. Like I have played this previously, but it's been a while. Also, I find the difference between the man and the woman minimal at best. It's like the devs don't know what a woman is. I mean, look at the, look at the difference. Slightly thinner arms, but still buff as fuck. Makes no damn sense. And also, this is the the real kicker. And also, why I'm kind of glad that I'm uh, redoing this, because I tr I chose the tracker as my discipline. And holy balls, upon looking at the wiki, this class got mega nerfed, like absolutely nerfed to hell and back. Essentially, every stat has been lowered, except for Insight. Oh, and Toughness. Insight is now 14, it used to be 5, and Toughness is now 8, it used to be 6. But, Strength used to be 14. Fi uh, finesse, and it said Fitness. Finesse used to be 14. Perception, 14. Agility, 15. Toughness, 6. Endurance, 10. Expertise, 11. So yeah, it got mega nerfed. And this was the class I chose because everybody said it's the best one. It's got like the best starting stats. And when I looked at it, I was like, does it really? It doesn't look that great. Either way, enough of that. I should probably read what it says below. So, trackers are swift humans. Uh, wow, well, hunters. Can't even read. Jesus. Their flexible carbine gains increased effective range from its tactical scope, and their daggers strike fast and effortlessly. Their training in an 8 aspect pattern allows masterful weapon handling for minimal reload times. Now the aspect pattern, it doesn't really matter because you get access to all of them. Or it's it's possible to get access to all of them. Um, and the, you know, lowered reload time I suppose is pretty useful, but yeah, I can do without it. Vandal. So Vandals are masters of the art of destruction. Their defender rifles are fitted with grenade launchers to blast groups of enemies, using cleavers to finish off any survivors. They are nimble enough to avoid danger, and their innate aspect pattern makes them resistant to fire and explosions. Jesus Christ, they're not cleavers. It's like a machete. Raider? And also, every single class has been nerfed, I think. Except for Raider and Mercen- Oh no, no, no. I think Raider's been changed too. It's either all of them have been nerfed, or it's just Trekker, Vandal, and Marksman. Like, I know, I've been looking at all the stats because I was trying to decide what I wanted to be. Either way, Raider. Raiders are fierce killers. They favor close-range tactics to dodge around enemies, to strike f from weak angles. Their deadly subguns cut through flesh and undead cortexes with ease, and their axes deliver the finishing blow when necessary. Their innate aspect pattern increases critical damage. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wanderer? Wanderers roam the cosmos, enduring its trials. They equip themselves with simple clubs and rifles, oddly fitted with exotic upgrades to freeze assailants. They seem to have an unusual insight into lost technology. Uh, and their innate aspect pattern lets them regain health as their enemies perish. Now, that aspect pattern sounds incredibly useful for the start of the game, doesn't it? What the game doesn't tell you is how little that actually regains. I don't know how, like, the exact value. I think you start the game with about 200 health. And I'm pretty sure you maybe get 1 HP, or maybe even 2 HP. I think you recover 1% per kill, which is, uh, nothing. <laughs> Alright, we have Marksmen. Marksmen excel at long-range combat. They use accurate rifles to acquire targets from far away and fire at critical spots, and a set of swift swords for backup. Their innate aspect pattern makes them even more deadly at long-range. God, they look pretty badass. The swords. Like, also, the, the weapons don't matter. You can equip anything, as long as you've got the, the stats necessary. Right, Mercenary, this is probably the class I'm going going with, because if you look at the stats, yes, none of them are in double digits, but everything is at 8 or 9. There's only two of them that's at 8, actually, so everything's at 9. So, Mercenaries are warriors hardened in the fray of battle. They favor, cl favor close-range combat, and both their scattergun and hammers 
offer means to stagger their opponents. Their innate aspect pattern and basic armor makes them resilient to damage. That's also another thing. The, the first shrine you come across gives you damage resistance, which is pretty useful. And the cursed one, which was added in a free update, and obviously one I'm not going with. So suffering the harshest of punishments, the cursed one is forced to wear an Azurian mask that calls their opponents dying curses to linger forever. Equipped with nothing but basic weapons, the cursed one is released from their cell into a world of suffering. Essentially that is basically Immortal Unchained's deprived, I suppose. Yeah, you don't start with anything nice, you don't have an aspect pattern, and you have a like added side effect. Where's the weapons? Oh yes, uh, daggers. Yeah, mercenary is what I'm going with. Just because of the stats. Like, yes, nothing's in the double digits, but everything is much higher. Like, with that, strength is at 5. And you need strength. I think you need strength and toughness in order to use shotguns, so... Yeah, this will put me closer to where I want to be. No, endurance is at... S no, endurance is 12. Oh wait, I was a tracker. Endurance is 5. Yeah, the stamina for the tracker was terrible. Either way, mercenary. Next! Now it's time to change me up. Right, skin type I went with... Oh, I went with one, I guess. Do they have different hairstyles? No, they don't. Yeah, I wanna want the mohawk. Because of course. Facial detail. I didn't go with any of these. No, because they all look really weird. The only one I was like kind of if uh, not iffy about. The only one I kinda wanted was this one. All the ones that are like stuck to your face. But then I also decided, nah, don't really like how they look. Either way, hair root colour. I went with purple, if I can find it. There it is. So it's number eight. There we go. I'm just going to recreate the character I made yesterday. Uh, I need the tattoo colour to be... Oh, body tattoo. Crap. Head tattoo... I don't remember which one it was. I think it was this one. Right, and then the tattoo colour was... Oh, it was that one. Tattoo colour was this, I think. Yep, there we go. I've essentially recreated my character. Basically. And done. Are you sure you are finished and want to begin the game? I am sure, yes. I can also turn the game back up. All I did last night after I gave up recording, In an oh, streaming, oh. long since forgotten. I just started to listen to the Shantae Half Genie Hero OST while playing the, the game. Oh, it was so good. That there would come a time when the sun would grow dark and cold. <gasps> a bone chilling wind would surge from the deepest pits of the abyss. Abyss. I don't know why there's like a purple tinge to everything. The dead would rise in its wake. Ooh. Oh god, the noises. Harbingers of destruction. Man, look at this. Look at this slideshow. I love seeing cutscenes like this because they look so strange. Left to its own, this wind would bring war. Yeah, it's not terrible or anything, it just looks a bit weird. Is all <clears throat> war that would ravage the nine planets. <laughs> like it was just two images. <laughs> okay. Break their bonds and flood the soil with their poison. Oh. Away to nothingness. To be fair, in the previous picture it reminded me of Titan. We were willing to make impossible choices. <laughs> it reminded me of Titan from Warriors Final Fantasy. The legend would rise once again. So now, my the question is heart they would be. whether or not this cutscene is going to actually be broken again. Because it shows our character in chains. Oh, it, sh it shows our character in chains and I'm sp I suppose he breaks out of them and then roars. But previously, like when I did this this morning, that didn't happen, there was nothing there, you couldn't see a model, and then all of a sudden my character just appeared. So I'm really hoping... The end of time. I'm really hoping it's not like that this time, because it looked really dumb. And... Oh please, don't be broken again. No, it's still broken, I think. Unless... Wait... No, no! Our person's there! Okay. Oh, I kind of feel a bit bad, because it was... It looked really odd with there being no person. But yeah, we're actually in chains this time. Okay. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Never mind. 
Yeah, okay, this cutscene's just busted, I guess. <laughs> As I say, it just looks... Aha, uh -huh, the invisible man, he screams. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We were supposed to be in there. Oh wow, the only difference between this and the the tracker is we have a lot, a lot less energy to use. But we do have more stamina, so I suppose it's not too terrible. The car, hidden bolts. Quickly, go forth and find the grand hall. You got it. Okay, and one thing I learned, basically as soon as I finished recording, I looked up um, the patch notes. And they did actually create an entirely dedicated, like, tutorial area. Yeah. Which is why I was so confused, because I did not remember this. At all. Because I didn't play it all that long ago. Or at least I didn't think it was all that long ago. There we go, now I have a crude pistol. Yay! Oh my god, I have a, a slightly bit more stamina. Not bad. Doesn't mean I can run forever, but... I think I had basically... Three bars? was my stamina. I did not- oh god. I did not have much. Man, I keep forgetting the pistol's a burst pistol. Yeah! I can't really do much. At the moment. Yes, left trigger to aim and right trigger to shoot. Standard fare. Bit capsules. I don't know if I want to use those. They're essentially the same as... I don't want to keep comparing it to Dark Souls. Yeah, it's like the souls in that game. Like the random souls you can just find, that you can use, and it gives you souls. Right, so, what are we doing? Great, it says B to dodge, but I can't really see. Ah! Should I just run? Yeah, Made it. God, the camera's all over the place. Press the A button to reload. Ooh. Oh, I see you. It does kind of suck that I don't... I'm not able to manually aim, because I would aim for headshots. But... It's easy to just do this and have it so it locks onto their body. Oh shit, yeah. Keep forgetting the burst shot actually does count as three shots. Nice. Easy. And I will actually get multiple weapons. What? What? Am I crazy? I didn't notice any pop up. I'm certainly, I certainly picked that up. Well, I hope that didn't screw me out of getting it. Because that was up. Yeah, right. We're only really going against the... the fodder at this moment in time. Basically the enemies that can do nothing but walk towards you really slowly and then really slowly try to uh, hit you. Although I did get some things. Small ammo pack. Okay, I thought I had an enemy. Soldiers traditionally carry packs of ammunition for all their weapons. Restock a small amount of ammunition for all weapons. Yeah, they're consumables. Big container. What containers are used across the cosmos? So I collected bits. Grants a minuscule amount of bits. I think it's 100... Oh, is it 150 per per one of them? Oh, it might be 250. Don't remember entirely. Originally used by... Is that Deganite? Hunters? These patches were designed to protect against icy winds and the tundra for a time. So, these just remind me of, like, monster hunter things. Like, the cold patch is essentially a hot drink, and the heat patch is a cool drink. Small energy potion. Energy potions are used by soldiers in the field to compensate for little rest. Restores a small amount of energy. I think the energy is the blue bar, not health. Heat patch. First designed to withstand the fiery heats of Bagor. Bagor? These patches increase heat resistance for a time. Cyanide pill. Death may not be permanent, but it can get you out of sticky situations. That's basically this game's equivalent of the dark sign from Dark Souls. I am going to stop comparing it to Dark Souls because they are different games. It's just one of those things you can't really help but do. Oh, right, yeah, this is where we go against a shield guy. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. It just takes an, a long time to get rid of him. Boom! Oh. And you can actually lock on manually by pressing the right stick. Like so! Look at that dodge. Boo 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 boo! It doesn't really work. I don't want to be locked on. Crap. Yeah. I'm not going to actually be able to use all me. Power. Yeah. Whew. 
My best idea would be to go behind it. There we go. Shoot him in the back. It kills him quickest. To be fair, there's a lot of enemies that you can exploit in the same way. But it's not really exploiting them, but... Yeah, you can run behind them. And then all of them seem... Well, every enemy I've come across in the game so far has a, a weak spot on their back. And if you shoot it, it does a lot of damage. It's basically double. Double damage. Ah, here's the shrine. This should be where I get armor. Does it actually add to my character? Because that was something I never really paid attention to. Reduces stability damage taken by 10%. No, I don't think it did add anything. Oh. Strongbox, Militia, Scattergun. And we got forgotten bits. Oh, that's what... Never mind. I did pick up something. It was bits. I'm an idiot. Yeah, for some reason I thought it was something else. Where's this lead? Nowhere. Well, nowhere important. I think I do like this tutorial place a bit better than... The, um... What was here previous? Wait a minute. I now have something equipped. It's around my neck. That wasn't there. A combined patch. The Azorians devised a technique to combine the effects of different patches, creating an, effect an effective way to reduce all incoming damage for a time. Well, there you go. And it actually tells you how much you need for a level. I need 1,500 bits for a level, which is just how much I have. Don't know what stats I want to increase first. I've read... I've been doing a lot of reading about this game, but I've read that stamina is a good thing to get up higher to begin with. Just because then you have stamina and you won't run out during boss fights or whatever. Right, this should be where I get my melee weapon. There we go. Vanguard hammer. And I need eight strength. And we also got a basic component. Alright, obelisk. Alright, so I can level up. I can only level up one single stat. Uh, as I say, it's the same as Dark Souls. Endurance. So it gives me stamina recovery and it gives me four stamina. Really not much. I have 3,000. I don't have enough. Either way, I'll, I'll read all these. So, finesse increases reload speed. Increases ranged weapon reload speed. Finesse is a common requirement for fine weaponry. Critical damage bonus is perception. Increases bonus damage dealt when inflicting critical hits on enemies. That's what theirs are. If you hit... When I hit the shielded guy on the back, it... The orange numbers signify a critical hit, I think. We get a critical bonus of, uh, plus five. You always get plus two health. Yeah, I think so. Either way, melee weapon scaling. Increases damage dealt with melee attacks. Strength is a common requirement for heavy weaponry. Oh, per 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 perception, not perception. Is a common requirement for precise weaponry. Agility. Dodge skill increases the efficiency of your dodge roll, making it easier to avoid attacks. Oh, my dodge is already at 26%. Oh, nice. Medpack speed. Decreases the time it takes to use a medpack. Nice. So, toughness, healing, or health, even. Increases your health pool, making you able to withstand more damage before dying. Flinching reduction, reduces accuracy pen penalties when damaged. So flinching reduction is 12%, that would make it 15. Endurance, stamina increases your stamina pool, allowing you to dodge and run more before becoming exhausted. Stamina recovery, increases how fast your stamina is restored while recovering. Okay. Expertise. So normal weapon scaling increases damage dealt with standard weaponry. Healing bonus increases med pack efficiency and insight. Special weaponry, well, special weapon scaling increases damage dealt with advanced weaponry. Energy increases your energy energy pool, allowing additional power attacks. That's why my energy is at one thirty. If I get ten per, that would be sixty. So that'd be that's a hundred and ninety. It might actually increase it more than that. Either way, endurance. Yeah. I may actually go back to see if I can deal with that shield guy again. Oh yeah. Uh, don't be an idiot. Equip weapons whenever you get chance. There we go, the militia scattergun. Wait, it's a... Oh, it's a shotgun! Oh! I didn't know that. Yeah, I had no idea. How quick are the hammers? Oh, they're pretty damn slow. Wow, just one level and... On stamina gave me that much? That's impressive. I'm still using the pistol. One thing I need to really get used to is how you change weapons. It's not with the Y button, which is one thing I kept pressing. And it's dumb, because I kept pressing it. Oh, the shield guy in here. I can understand why they didn't let him be here, because um, you'd be able to exploit that to the sun and back. 
Oh yeah, without a doubt. It gave me a thousand bits. So, <laughs> you know, you'd be able to level up. From killing it just once. Right, this is where we go against our first proper enemy that actually has a gun. And who boy, are they a pain? Oh god. Oh, it shoots twice. Okay. Shit. Oh dear. I only did that. I need two more. Fuck. Right, okay. I do see that down there. My issue is I don't know how... Oh, unless... Wait. Ah, oh, here we go. These will work. They didn't come through the door. That should not have hit me. But it did. Fucking hell. Wow, okay. Jesus. Bloody thing's gonna kill me. Wow. Holy crap. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't really mind if I... I mean, I do mind if I die, but... Curious. I never looked around here. Oh, wow. I never even thought to. What is that? An ancient shard. Since its discovery, the core has been expanded upon by the Prime. The prison complex in the lower levels houses the most dangerous criminals in the cosmos. I mean, I may as well do as much as I can here to uh, try and get away. Is there a way to jump? No, you can only roll. I didn't know if you could jump like you can in Dark Souls if you're running. Again, comparing it to Dark Souls. I know I shouldn't. It's one of those things I can't really help. Unless, what if I just rolled? I don't like this. Not really. Unless it's one of those where I can make it if I roll. Ah, okay, I can. Forgotten bits. Oh, really? I came here for a hundred bits. That's fucking stupid. Isn't it just? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. God, that's risky. Oh my god. I mean, I made it. It's all good. But my god. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, what's the the power attack of this. Holy, okay, it wastes the entire clip. That's actually really useful. The only issue with it is the charge. It takes a while for it to uh, do the lead up. But it is a very good attack. And I can level up again. I mean, I was thinking of just getting everything to 10 to begin with, but it might actually be better to just focus on a certain thing first. You know, like getting endurance up higher. That'll only increase by 3.5 though. Hmm. An enemy just died. Okay. Yeah, 3.5 is all it'll give me. Ugh. In that case, what does perception increase? I'd need strength, because that's my... The shotgun's a heavy weaponry. Also agility. I'll go with strength. But to be fair, you come by a shitload of bits. And it's the... God, I keep saying it. It's the same as other Souls-like games. Where once you've killed an enemy... Well, once you rest, essentially, they will respawn. Woohoo! Wow, okay. These... The hammers are way better than the tracker's weapons. Hey! I didn't get that either. Wow, there was actually a lot of stuff I missed in the tutorial. Yeah, seems that way. Small ammo pack and a basic component. Basic components are used to upgrade your weapons. For the, like, minor damage increase that would give. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Some of them do really leave themselves wide open. Oh, I knocked him on his ass. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, I really like the hammers. Holy crap. They're fun to use. Not super powerful, but they are fun to use. Right, hold the left stick to sprint. It's not even hold it, it's press. You only have to press it. It's a toggle. It's not one that you have to hold. This thing sucks. Fuck. It really hurts if it hits you. A ridiculous amount. We got a ranger's pistol. I need, oh, 16 perception and 10 finesse. Memorial, with the help of Dokar engineers, the stasis chambers of the prison were constructed to withstand the challenge of powerful creatures. Ooh. 
Wait, not fancy. Fuck. That's what I mean, it really hurts. Like, ridiculously so. It's just a little bit too much. What have we got? Small energy potion. Should thou need it. Use that to lock onto enemies. Uh, wait. I was about to say, where are the enemies? Are they the shooty shoots? Oh god, there's a few of them. Boop. What? Oh, this guy's coming towards me. Oh wait, you're the... Okay. Oh, here they all come. Shit, I keep, forget, I keep forgetting I have to reload. I was throwing a fucking grenade. You idiot! I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I love how dumb the AI is. They are really stupid. Really stupid. I love it. Can I go in there? Wait a minute. Ooh, I can get down there though. Yeah, I, they are just beyond dumb. That's happened so much. They can't hurt each other with their own bullets, which, you know, should be obvious. But they can throw grenades and hurt each other, which I love so much. Because they are dumb as stones. They really are really stupid. <laughs> it's great. You just see one of them throw a grenade and it's like, you probably just screwed yourself, buddy. I'm sorry to say. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, uh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Just want to be careful, because I want to get whatever's in that chest. I'm going to say, but I don't want to die. Small ammo pack, small energy potion, TRM syringe. There we go. It's weird that there's no jump, but I do find it quite cool that you can just roll onto, you know, the platforms. I kind of should have got it when I played the game previous, because... Oh, this is where the boss is. Oh, shit. I used up a syringe. Oh, well. No, because I'm pretty sure once you've left this place, you can't come back. Oh no, you might be able to, because I think you, you unlock the possibility of travelling between obelisks at some point. It's just a matter of unlocking that. Ooh. I also didn't go down here. Wow. Is there not an obelisk, like, right here? I'm a <laughs> if there's an obelisk here, I didn't get it. In which case, I got real lucky. Use consumables like syringes and grenades. Yes. I think that's a given. Oh, fuck, I didn't realise you was a... a dude with a gun. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's hold LB to change weapon. I'll just use the D-pad. I'm just going to keep running around. Oh dear. That works. Holy crap, I'm using up all my syringes. Oh crap. Reload. Take these. Oh! Oh dear. Oh, that one, didn't, that one isn't dead. There we go. Got him. Woo! I got completely fucking screwed there. Oh! Uh, okay. That's better than pressing the D-pad. I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. Is this a shot? Uh, this probably brings me out right next to Obelisk. Yeah, it does. I didn't unlock this before. No. Oops. I guess. It's not a big deal, I guess. It's just... You know, one of those things that would have probably been a nice thing to unlock. What do I unlock? Oh, yeah, I got another pistol. That I can't use. Yeah, weapon requirements are not met. It's weird! That you're not actually allowed to equip anything. Yeah, I have the uh, basic components. Yeah, sure. Nice! Got the frame rate. No, because in... 
other games, actually no, it's mostly just Dark Souls, I think, that if you do have, or don't meet the requirements, you can still equip the weapon, you just don't wield it very well. I'm gonna use this. God. And I think that the bar on the bottom is like their stagger bar. It seems to be, because once you, or once you get rid of that, they seem to fall over. I'll just stumble. God, I love the hammers. I didn't realize they were so good. Your penis. Oh, wow. I'm also able to stagger. You're gonna deck me, douche. Yeah, that kind of fucked me up. There we go. Right, so now we're basically right at the, at the boss. What on earth? I can't believe I never found this before. Oh god. Yeah, <laughs> such a silly thing. Right, boss, here's a go. <laughs> I can't remember how this guy attacks. Oh dear. Oh, here's a... Okay. How's Carl Invader? Woo! Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I can't reload. Whoa. I turn around real fast. Jesus. I keep, I think I press A too soon. Like after dodging, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, you know that works. There we go. I have to slow down <laughs> a lot. Jesus, you're going crazy. That didn't hit me. I can get behind that. Yeah, I'm pressing the wrong fucking buttons. <laughs> uh, I'm pressing A to dodge and B to reload. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I do like how he homes in on me regardless. Heal. I should actually use me special, probably. Yeah! That did a lot. Oh yeah, it also uses up a full fucking clip. How could I forget? I don't really have much time to reload. Oh, really? There we go. <laughs> should just keep shooting at him. I kept trying to hit the weak spot. <gasps> Ooh, loot! But yeah, his fucking home and charging attack blows. We get a Viridian shotgun. Oh, why did I upgrade my shotgun? Damn it. Yeah, I've forgotten that he gives you a shotgun as a reward. Fuck. Oh well. Basic components are something you can buy fairly, uh, fairly often, I, w I would say. Bugger. Oh well, never mind. Oh. Ooh. Oh, so, so is the game going into slow motion? Whoa. Alright. Ew. I saw you pop in. And just... Boop. Well, there's the tutorial, conquered. I don't actually think they made a new area for the tutorial. I just think they remodeled the uh, tutorial area. Because it wasn't really a tutorial to begin with. It was mostly just throw you in and uh, expect you to know what to do. 